years ago at 54 below. Oh my I God, tap dance with one leg. How good, how are you? I know, I know you don't even recognize me. I have my other leg. It grew back. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. State, That's me. <laughs> state what you're nominated your name and what you're nominated for. My name is Evan Ruggiero and I am nominated for Outstanding Actor in a Musical for Bastard Jones. <laughs> this is so I'm so glad. <laughs> what gets you through your days? What makes you stay so amazingly positive? Doing this. <laughs> well, you know, performing, singing, dancing and acting. It was just uh, just really exciting to be nominated. Uh, our show <laughs> actually closed back in July and um, um, I, I guess a few weeks ago when the uh, 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 nominee list went out and I saw my name on there with just like these incredible actors on Broadway <laughs> right now, um, I was shocked and I was just like, wow, somebody uh, somebody thought of me, somebody, uh, you know, uh, 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 remembered our show. Now most people don't know you are dancing on one leg, but you have two now. What's that? I said you're dancing, you have one leg, yeah, but you managed to, to do amazing things. How did you do this? Um, just, you know, lots of hard work and lots of perseverance and just uh, just wanting to dance again and wanting to perform again and just it, it, it just gives me life and it gives me everything that I want to you know pursue uh, with my dreams but um, you know the uh, uh, the choreography was incredible <laughs> of this show and um, you know I was running up and down stairs I was tap dancing on my peg leg I was uh, you know uh, jumping on tables jumping off of tables singing at the top of my lungs and just you know it, it was something that was that was really special to me what would, what advice would you give to people that aren't born perfect mm -hmm. or have things that happen to them? What advice would you give them? How would you tell them to stay like you are? Yeah, oh, just stay positive and really follow your dreams. I mean, that's it. I mean, anything can happen. And, and I'm just so excited that, that I was able to uh, persevere through all of that. You know, it's, you know, my grandmother said to me in the hospital <laughs> uh, after my amputation, she said, you know, I think you need to find um, uh, a, uh, a different career. And I said to her, you know what, no Grammy, like I'm going to continue doing this, this is what I want to do. And now, eight years later, here I am at the, uh, uh, at the drama desks, uh, nominated for Outstanding Actor in a Musical, and, and, and I'm, you know, I'm making it happen and I'm following that dream. So don't give up and uh, pursue what you want to do. I'm so proud that I knew you then and know you now. <laughs> this is incredible. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's fun to see you. We are with one of my favorite choreographers, Christopher Gatelli. Christopher, what are you nominated for this year? SpongeBob SquarePants. Where did you come from? Where in your mind did you make up this amazing journey? I, <laughs> I don't know where it came from. No, to be honest, it, a lot of it came from Tina Landau. I mean, her vision for the show, um, you know, she when, when she told me her, her idea about using different composers, different styles, different genres, I mean, it's kind of a, 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 an amazing buffet. And, and, you know, and she really gave me some great challenges. It's like, oh, here's a number with, we're going to use just sponges and blacklight. Huh? You know, okay, it, but but I was re like she really really pushed all. I, I feel like she really pushed like me to my like the most creative level I have in me, and I'm really proud of, of the work, and I'm really proud of the company. They worked their butts off for that show. I'm so proud. And what's next for you? Uh, I'm currently. Uh, I'm actually I ran from rehearsals. I'm doing the Share show right now with with Share and uh, a bunch of people. So um, Share, we we're going to Chicago in a month, and then we're coming to the Neil Simon in the fall. Well, we have a reviewer in Chicago and in New York, so we look forward to this. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nejla Yatkin, and I'm nominated for Outstanding Choreography. Now, where do you come from? What place do you come from when you're choreographing? I'm coming from a very visual place, and it's like painting in space. Uh, that's how I see it. And I look at uh, the story, and then the music, and then how can I fill the story and the music with movement. So from Frozen, we have Jen Alad. I'm going to say this so. No, it's okay. It's all right. Jelani Aladdin. And you know, Aladdin and Frozen, I know. It's, it's Aladdin, I can get us the Jelani part Jelani. that I have a problem with. Don't worry. So in Frozen, it's all about letting go. It is. What do you do to let go? I um I particularly do a lot of working out at the gym. <laughs> I think that relieves the stress of my brain and also frees my body and warms my body up for the show. And I'm also let go of expectations on the show. I think one of the things when I was starting to build this character, I was like, I I don't want to at all do what was done in the movie. I want to do what's right to me, what's true to me, and where I come from. 
Um, and I tried to bring that into the character as much as I can. And what kind of role would you like to do next? Ooh, I would like to do something extremely dark and emotional, um, complex, that is that pushes boundaries of what African American men can be. I think it's important for me to always do work that celebrates who I am and where I've come from. So I would love to do a piece that's about Brownsville, Brooklyn, where I grew up. You know, so people see a different side of me. People will see this charmer that I played in Kristoff, but that's not what I normally play. So I'm, I'm excited for the future and what that holds. One of the most exciting speeches this year in a play comes from admissions. And I, for one, clapped. This is Ben Edelman from admissions. Hello, hello. So that speech, where did you come from to get that? Um, well, so a couple answers. One is I grew up in a family where we were very openly argumentative. So when I read it, it's so funny, everyone goes like, oh my God. But I kind of read it and I go, oh yeah, this is like how I would how I would vent about something. <laughs> but 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 I thought it was real. I mean we do feel this way. Yeah. That's what I love about your play, is it shows the hypocrisy of what we don't say. That's right. I mean that and that and the play and the experience of doing the play was very much like there were things that would be really exciting and then you would be like, I am an awful person for, for feeling or that way or saying it. And then you take all of that and you put that into it and then the next time and the next time and the next time you keep building more and more and more of whatever it is that you that you feel and the audience is very reactive. So all of that judgment, all of the wanting to get something off your chest that people don't talk about, the private spaces, the things that you feel ashamed of, and to be able to put that into something is really, really amazing. And what's next for you? I have a couple things floating around, so uh, nothing official, but uh, very next is I'll be running a, a Tough Mudder with my sister <laughs> for, for breast cancer in a week and a half. So I am gearing up for that. Well, we wish you all the luck. Thank you. Thank you.